what's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read throughs of all times i am the big cliche i am big uh, papa pump without the pump i am the rock that is never hard king kong got a lot on me i am t b r terabyte reacts and i would just like to say you're welcome welcome back guys to another edition of berserk today we're doing volume 19 okay as i try to fix my camera real quick Looking like a freaking ghost out here. Got to. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much, man, for tuning in. As always, as you can see, I got a, a new mic. I talked about it in a video. Um, you know, tested it out and everything. This is the Shure MV7. Um, very close. Um, in terms of the SM7B, which is a very popular mic. It's been around for decades, right? I've known about that mic ever since I was uh, a, like, a, I would say, a, a teenager. Um, maybe even before that, because this this mic came out, like, we, uh, I think before I was born. If, I, if I'm correct, but it's just now that it's becoming popular because so many people are doing streaming, so many people are doing, um, you know, podcasting and all of this other stuff. Um, so they went ahead and they made a mic very similar to the SM7B, which is, um, you know, slightly cheaper. Well, it, it's $150 cheaper um, than the SM7B, but it's very similar in tone and in performance when it comes on to what it sounds like and what it does this is also a um along with it being xlr it is also a usb mic also but it is a dynamic microphone it is not a condenser microphone so if you're ever thinking about going into doing any of this stuff whether it be youtube um podcasting streaming this is a very good mic to pick up um instead of spending four hundred dollars it's only $249. So I just want to throw that out there just to let you guys know. Because, you know, sometimes you're doing this stuff, you know, people, I, I guess if somebody wanted to know, they could ask or they could look it up. But I just wanted you guys to know that I'm not showing off or anything like that because I, I if it wasn't, if I wasn't doing YouTube, I wouldn't spend 250 bucks on a mic i promise you that <laughs> you would never find me spending that kind of money on a mic but i had to do it my last mic if you notice in my last read throughs there's a lot of humming in the background it my mic never used to do that and for for like for like a month month and a half since i've had the mic the mic never used to give me that issue and now it's it, it just started to give me that issue like a month and a half in after I got the mic. It sounded great when I just got it, but I don't know what's if it's something causing the interference or it just went bad. It was it was not a expensive mic. It cost like 40 bucks. Um, but here we are, you know, with the new Shure MV7, which I can guarantee you since I've been testing this mic, um, will I think. It came highly recommended. I did the research, and I can tell you, this mic is a great mic. It sounds just like the SM7B, and I made sure I got a steady warrant warranty on it. Just in case anything should happen to the mic, I can easily just tell them to send me another one or upgrade your boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for coming back to another read through of berserk man i'm enjoying this series as you know um i don't know you guys can let me know if you want me to go back to the old format 
of not just I'm going to be going back to just the side of what you are seeing. So, um, cause I think it was like one person that said they didn't like the new format. So I'm going to go back for now. You guys can let me know which one you prefer for me. I don't mind either way. I was just trying something new because it's, it was a while that I, um, did a read through of berserk. So I, I was just trying to do something new. It wasn't anything I would, you know what I'm saying? Um, because I was coming back from a long time of not doing any read through. So I just decided to, to try something new and see if you guys liked it. Um, I think it looked great, especially the after, you know what I'm saying? After editing and everything, it looked great. But if you guys don't like the fact that I'm in the middle of the screen, you know what I mean? Um, I don't have an issue. You get what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm i not complaining. <laughs> you know, um, if you guys don't like it, you don't like it. You're the ones that have to view it. Um, I don't even know if you guys watch the entirety of my read throughs. I don't even know because they last so long. You know, I, I don't even know if you guys skip through it the read throughs i don't know we don't keep analytics on that it's more of like the average watch time on the video gives me an idea because most of you guys don't really most of you guys don't you know when it comes on to um watching it on youtube versus watching it on the google drive where you get to see all the panels and stuff like that um i don't know the analytics on that because I think most people do go to the Google Drive out of, you know, maybe the 150 of you guys that watch um, these read-throughs, you know, it is very few people that actually watch it on YouTube, you know, where, where it's, you know, censored and stuff. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, guys, we already know what's going on. I don't want to waste too much time here before we jump in. You guys can let me know if you want me to go back and do a... Do, uh, um, a, you know, go back and review the, 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 the past volume. Um, the last time I did not do it, I'm not going to do it today either, but you guys can let me know if you want me to go back and review chapter, if that helps you in any way, you know what I'm saying? To follow along or to, as a reminder where we left off. Um, it helps me also, but I'm not going to do it today. We're just going to jump in. We know what happened. There's a bunch of craziness that happened in the last volume because of, you know, what happened with Casca, um, this, the, 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 the skeleton knight or the skull knight, whatever we call him, okay, um, visited Guts again. Um, it's, 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 a bunch, it's a bunch of stuff that is going on. We got to learn about, you know, the, 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 that dude preaching the god the not the gospel let me not call it call it the gospel because it's, that is not the gospel he's very committed you know <laughs> you know what i mean he's very committed prostrating himself on the floor praying you know what i'm saying like he's very committed even though he's torturing people to death <laughs> you know he's very committed but anyways guys let's jump in i've spoken enough we're gonna jump in so of course Stick around, and I will see you after for the review. All right, welcome back, guys. Um, fix the mic here so that it's not okay. So, jump in. They got Casca here on the front page, volume 19. We usually have about 11 chapters to go through right you have about 11 chapters um all right let, let, let's get it let's get to reading you know oh i think this is casca here i don't know what she's doing it's like listen we can't take this don't talk that way please um one thing about this mic that I love the most is that you basically it doesn't pick up a lot of the background noise in the room because it's very omnidirectional so 
I have to speak directly into the mic. So I might do a little, I might turn a little bit because I don't want the mic to be in my view because of what I'm, what I want to see. So as long as it's in front of my mind and you guys can hear me, I don't have an issue with it. Okay, so we can't take this. Don't talk that way. Please accept these. Give them to your... Okay, so these are the people that, you know, think that... So they, so, so they're showering Costco with gifts because they think she is the, the, the devil queen or, <laughs> or whatever. They think she's a witch. So what's the harm? It would be a pity to turn them away when they're giving it to us. <laughs> you know? Profit, profit. <laughs> they're like so they want to take the gifts oh fine i'll take him this time but you can't do this in broad daylight with people watching understand please leave now everybody's wondering what's going on but they don't know i'm like luca this means trouble big trouble luca what in the world is this it's so sudden and isn't all this stuff Tribute for Elaine? I don't get it. Well, we'll talk about that soon. For now, go and share the tribute. Okay, but we can't keep up. More comes in than we can handle. She's like, Luca, what will we do with her? At this rate, we'll be turned in eventually. It's only a matter of time before the hunters catch wind. And then, then what happens? I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really... Now calm down, Nina. I can't. Even barring that, if... If Joachim, whatever that name, Joachim, jo Joachim... I'm going to call it Joachim. Body is found, and I, I, Nina, let's ditch her. What? <laughs> Just get rid of that girl. Again, yo, she was about to slap the shit out. <laughs> she the one that keep them in line. <laughs> she about to slap the crap out of her. Again, Nina, but it's crazy. If we get any more involved with her, it'll really be the end of us. It's all right, Elaine. It's all it, it's all right. Elaine can get by on her own. I mean, she's really, you know, we can just hand her over to my people. I'm sure they'll treat her well. We've looked after her plenty already. We've done well. We've done enough. I won't do that for anything. I'll not, I'll not, who the hell wrote this English? I'll not abandon someone. You should be, um, you don't do that. You don't, I'll not, nobody, you should say I will not. <laughs> Sentences like that, you do not, you do not put together I and will together for that sentence. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> grammar correcting, but it is what it is. It's like, it says, I will not abandon someone. Neither Elaine, nor you. Luca. Maybe I have been high-handed and condescending like you said. Having said that, I'm not very good when it comes to admitting my own faults. And having run my mouth about us sharing a common fate, I don't care to take it back. This is my way of holding myself to it after saying so, even though it's caused a lot of hardship. If I lose my nerve, I'll end up just like those I look down upon. But that aside, we can't just let things stay like this. Since it's come to this, we all need to get together and come up with some kind of plan. Luca! Trouble! 
What is Casca doing? She is gone nuts. What's wrong, Lucy? It's Pep. It's Peep. Pepe. Um, I'm going to say Pepe. It's got to be Pepe. It's Pepe. She, The hunters? No, let me go. I haven't done anything. Who is this? I think this is the girl that was just in the tent just now. Shut up. There was an there was an indictment. Oh, they got Pepe. So I I think this is Pepe. I'm I'm, uh, I'm not associating these faces. Shut up. There was an indictment. You can speak in your defense all you want at your trial. Look, she's from Luke, Lucas. You know, lately they've been oddly popular. Maybe some other prostitutes got jealous of them. No, no, no. Demon fiend? I'll be raped. I'll be killed. Oh, God. I swear, commoners are all the same. Be silent, gloomy wench. You rabble delight in nothing more than smiling at others' misfortunes behind your backs while looking down on anyone and everyone. When calamity befalls you, you alone possess pure hearts and clean hands. You act like children, believing yourselves faultless. You call upon the name of the Lord without reflecting upon your own sin. Cowardly, shameless, despicable, you're no better than insects. Behold, evidence. A large crowd watches, yet not one of them volunteers to aid you. Ooh, Luca came in. Okay. Don't prattle on so proudly while you strike at someone from such a safe place. Luca! Luca! <laughs> now she's done it. Uh-oh. So there is one among you with backbone. <laughs> But don't you understand? If you defend her, you'll both be arrested. Mm, that's how it is? Whatever we say, you try to silence us with threats? You rattle your swords, judging people from up in the tower. Have you mistaken yourselves for angels or something? Hey, is that all you have to say, girl? This is hopeless. The hair must be thin up there made you delirious <laughs> we about to whip you bitch <laughs> Pepe Luca Ooh, who's that something got wrapped around Whoa. is that guts no that's not guts uh, good. who was it who dares to trifle it is guts that's what I'm saying but Oh, yeah, because he was heading this way, right? Because the Skull Knight told him that Casca was around here. Right? Okay. Flap, flap. Over here whipping people. La, like, uh, you're the uh, b black swordsman. Black swordsman? Mmm, lucky me. To think we would meet again in such a place. This is the will of God. You won't get away like last time. <laughs> Guts grabs him by the face. It's like, who are you talking to, man? Who are you talking to? You know who I am and you still talking crap? Let's get it. All right. Grab them. You can't even lie. <laughs> squeezing the life out of his face they're like captain is that going by what she said you guys are the ones doing the witch hunting around here answer me among all the people you've arrested was there a woman with a brand on her chest Luca should know who he's looking for he's like brand I don't I don't know <laughs> Somebody charges in. Ooh! Guts just threw him into the other guy. They're like, scum! 
you don't want to charge at guts, really, dude. Ch chill. <laughs> chill out. I don't understand how people know what this guy has done with the legend of the Black Swordsman. And they still attack. I just don't understand. It's like, yo, look look, look at this, this dismemberment that is going on right now. Guts is just, he's too much. <laughs> he's too much for these these puny little guys. He's just too much. One swing of that sword, you know what I mean? Horses and men right in half. Amazing. <laughs> Don't falter. Surround and re There's nobody left. What do you mean surround and restrain? <laughs> How many of you guys are there? <laughs> okay, ladies. Now's the time. The way you lit into that guy was so cute. <laughs> I think I'm in love. <laughs> Who's the monkey? This is my this is my villa. Dropy <laughs> still can't call his name right. <laughs> Shh, I can see it. Something weird. That one in a frenzy's my main pad, Fortress of Iron Guts. I should have I should have said this first, but I'm Puck, owner of them both. <laughs> what do you mean, Dropy? And who said you lived here? <laughs> this is holy ground. What a sick joke. It looks more like a dump to me says guts she's here somewhere Casca the black swordsman on holy ground the end all right let's get into it man all right so we got guts somebody charging at guts again they just never learn they never learn they just never learn Chop, chop, suey, chop, chop, suey, <laughs> chop, suey. More bodies with just four swings, four riders right in half so easily with that monster sword. It ain't human. You're kidding me. The pain's fading. Please don't move now. Your captain. Mm. What is he? This isn't like the last time at all. No matter how many riders I send in, it's impossible to capture him. Because because the thing about it is that Guts wasn't even really trying to fight at that point. You know what I'm saying? He went willingly. You know what I'm saying? He basically went willingly the, the last time when Farnese, um, when y'all captured him. You know what I'm saying? He's a monster. Who did that? Somebody threw something at him. <laughs> Sacrifice. <laughs> Every time I see a bunch of eyes on on panels, that's what I think of. Those, those demons that keep saying, Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Withdraw. Withdraw. Clear the way. Report to headquarters. So much for asking underlings. All I can do is head straight there. A woman with a brand? Is that what you said before? So Luca is questioning Guts. like, Because she knows that she's supposed to know about the brand. It's like, you know about her? Hey Guts, tone it down. F -f First let me think. That's not important. Oh. So she sees Guts' brand. It's like, it's the same. You have what? Our Elaine has, right? Tell me, where is she? Where's Casca? Right now. Casca? That's Elaine? Yeah. All right, this way. All right, so we're going to get a, a reuniting. Who, whose eyes are these? Who's watching them? So, Casca is so, she's so, like, the thing about her is that she's lost her mind. I think, I think she, she's not crazy, but she has 
lost some or her sense of being. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because she, you know, she was raped. She was, there, there's so many things that happened to her. She's just, she's broken. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it's going to take to get her back into her right mind. But, you know, whenever that day comes, it comes. So, Elaine, if you really are a witch, could you, you know, save Luca and the others? And if so, maybe me too? I don't know what Casca is here. What is she doing? <laughs> it's like, guess not. Not after what I said. They sure are taking a long time. Yeah, I mean, she she's just, she's, you know, what if, what if they were arrested? What would I do? Yeah, if that happened, and then the hunters came here, if Elaine used some witchcraft like before, <laughs> there'd be no way out. I'll be killed. Forget burning at the stake. They just chop off my head right there. I have to run. Ha. Ah, if I don't get away from here quick, I'll... Ugh. Elaine. Let's ditch her. We've looked after her plenty already. We've done well. We've done enough. At a time like this, <laughs> you know, I look at her. She's like, she's like remembering what she what she said, basically. And now Casca is kind of like treating her, like patting her on the head, even though she said all those things. So she's kind of regretting it, crying that she said that. Is like, ah, I really, why is all this? Elaine, you come along with me. It's all right. I'll take care of you. I can't leave you here alone. Besides, being by yourself is scary and lonely. So just as they arrive, how I hope she didn't. It feels like decades have passed since then. Are you still the way you were, broken and halted like last time? I might be even more threatening to you n now than I was then. But this time, this time. So, Mr. Swordsman, Elaine, Casca, was it? What are you to her? Yeah, we go way back. Hey, what? Never mind. I think I know. So, so, ladies. Are you, you prostitutes? I sense that the risque surge, you know. <laughs> Who's the monkey? <laughs> Here. Nah, they dipped. Which is Elaine. Nina. Don't just stand there. Come in. She's she's here. No one's here. <sighs> yeah, they This is just they couldn't just let the the the, the reunion happen. Ah, oh, man, come on, man. Don't tell me the hunters. There's no signs of a struggle, though. Nina, things are the only ones gone. Is is this where you... <laughs> d d dude, concentrate, okay? Concentrate. <laughs> concentrate, my guy. Cool your jets, okay? Cool your jets. All right, she didn't... She didn't, Casca. Yeah, they sh Nina dip, dipped with her, man. But they can't be long gone. I mean, all they have to do is really is just look around. I mean, they, they literally just left. It's like, ooh. It's okay. Let's go. Damn, she's coughing up blood. Why? Oh, who are these people? We have come to get you, sorceress. Why do you have a dead bird on a stick, bro? <laughs> you guys. 
Still though, even if we split up and search, there's no way we'll find her in all of this. But Dropy, why are you following Guts, helping him find Casca? Why are you on top of my head? You don't know what Casca looks like, do you? It'll suck for you, if not for the bandages. Like, I saw her with mind waves. <laughs> Still, mommy, look. Why do all seem scared of you? They're awestruck. <laughs> With this many folks around, I'm usually invisible. Something strange, though. Is something weird going on here? Anywho, I don't know about no witch hunt, but they're scared out of their wits. And, uh, is it ever gloomy? They all ran off without fighting the cushion and then wandered into this place. On top of that, they're scared of being ratted on. They're all dying off. Makes me sick to look at them. And you're diff and you're different, Dropy. Of course I am. Combat's always been a man's biggest chance to make it in the world, and you don't need funds. Just one of these. <laughs> so your guts apprentice? Wrong. If asking to be taught means I gotta bow my head to someone, then, then, even if I have to sneak around and follow him, it'd be more of a man if I stole his moves. <laughs> He's like, you really are a thief. <laughs> yeah, well, if I do a huge favor for him here, I don't need to sneak around. It's give and take. <laughs> and then, if he dares tells me no, that's when I'll take this Costco or whatever girl hostage. Two peas in a pod. <laughs> hmm. Okay. He sees them. He sees them. Ah, put me down. <laughs> ah, they, they just pick him up over there. It's like, oh, no mistake. That's a bandaged woman. Bingo. Kidnappers? Why are you sneaking around? What now? If I go back to tell Guts, I'll lose sight of him. But there's no way I can fight off that many people. It's best not to even fight one enemy. I'll shadow him for now. I'm good at that. See, this is what I'm saying. You see, this is the, the anxiety part of storytelling that I really, I, I, it's, it's a love and it's a love. It's, it, it's mo it, it's a pet pee for me. I don't like how it makes me feel because I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm like, dude, just go back and get guts all you got to do is just tell everybody now you're going to follow them you don't know what you're doing and you doing this does not help the situation if you tell everybody where they're heading they can ca catch up to them but what are you shadowing them for you get what i'm trying to say you trying to take all the glory out of this situation with, and, and, and you're a kid like no i don't care <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'll shadow him for now I'm good at that. Find her. No, no trace. Even though it's a refugee slum, even Puck, I would have think in that situation, would have flew back to Guts and let him know what's going on. And he's not doing that. And 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 stuff like this is just in storytelling. It's convenience, and I don't I don't like it. I don't. <laughs> I'm just saying. I just don't. I don't like it. It's a pet peeve of mine because it creates anxiety. When there's no need to create anxiety. You get what I'm saying? But for plot purpose, for plot purpose, it makes sense. Why? Because they, you don't want the reunion between these two as of yet. So you're creating plot points and, and putting it in there for that not to happen. You get what I'm trying to say? And it, it's, it irritates me. I'm not saying that it's bad storytelling. I'm just saying it irritates me. <laughs> I don't like it. So even though it's a refugee slum, it's a big one. That elf and the boys still aren't back. Let's wait for them for now. I'm going to make the rounds again. Hey, wait. This is easy, man. Strain. Okay. Let's see where this leads. Ambition boy. Got to see Farnese again. 
Farnese is a baddie, man. Don't 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 take her lightly. You know what I'm saying? She a baddie. You know, once again, yeah. She always stares at the stakes until the fires burn out. It's as if she's spellbound by the flames. Yeah, we saw some weird stuff at the end of at the end of the last volume. Where was this this girl laying in her room playing with herself, thinking about people burning at the stake? I, it was weird. I have, to, I have news to report. I have to check the time for the the recording because I don't want to go over thirty minutes. I have to I have news to report. The heretics hide out. I. This man says he was, he was once their captive, but escaped and returned. From his tone, it doesn't sound false. All right, all forces prepare to move. There is one more item. A short time ago, a unit came under attack in the slum. During an arrest, four troops lost their lives in combat. According to the report, the assailant was a single man, all in black, swinging a sword as long as he was tall. All soldiers at the scene confirmed that's the black swordsman. The black swordsman? Is this true? Aye, sir, I believe it is. Surely this is divine providence. This time he will. Whoa, stand down. Farnese, we've already been released from the duty of arresting the black swordsman. Our first priority now is to cooperate with the Inquisitor in the eradication of the heretics. But do not blur duty with personal bias. I must request that you lead us to the hideout. All right. We move out soon. The Black Swordsman. <laughs> he is. He's here in Albion. She does think about him because she he did bring some dose of reality for her, you know, and she had this weird moment <laughs> with guts, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, okay. Bingo is right. It looks like the bad guys hang out. It looks like the bad guys hang out. Okay, everyone, but what the heck are they doing? It's a naked party. <laughs> Tonight is a holy night to, rem to be remembered. As all of you know, the stone pillar deified in the Tower of Conviction is no longer potent nor significant. It has no power to manifest even a single mystery. The tower has instead been reduced to a vile lodge of swine who use sophistry in an attempt to oppress and control us. But we are aware, aware of the one truly deserving of reverence, the one possessing power. Tonight, the harbinger of the promised day, the holy symbol denoted by our master, is that? <laughs> this is <laughs> Casca. <laughs> oh my God, Casca is like the, the. I mean, even when she she looked like so out of place, still drawn so beautifully. It's Casca. So that's her. Our sorceress, the Black Witch. <laughs> She's evidence of our belief. A miracle in and of herself. And on this auspicious night, one of her faithful shall be granted an honor greater than she deserves. Damn. What are they going to do to Nina? No. Let me go. It's the girl who was with Casca. Whoa, whoa. This looked bad to you? Rejoice, daughter Nina. By this great task, you will expiate your crime of trying to steal her away for yourself we shall now cut whoa 
we shall now cut out her heart, it shall be an offering to the witch. And after the witch, I'm guessing this is just a guy with a goat head on, <laughs> shall mingle with our great goat and become a true member of our family. This is so wrong, <laughs> you think? What do we do? What do we do? Yeah, you should have went back and got guts. Even if I go get guts now, it won't be in time. Hey, Puck. I'll buy some time here. You fly at full speed and find guts. This will be the first I've heard of you being competent, by the way. <laughs> by the... By the... It's got to be by the way. Or by the by. Useless kid. Piss off, you. Heh. <laughs> I've got the high ground, you see. You can't. No. They're about to cut your heart out. They ain't playing no games. They plan to do that while she alive? Like, you ain't even gonna kill her first? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, he just threw a stone right in that dude's eye. Nice. It's like, what's wrong? Mm hmm. Oh, not bad. How do you like me now? I don't like using such a poor man's technique any more than I got got to, though. It's too common for someone who's got to be a big-time swordsman. But I've got no choice right now. A thief who throws stones. <laughs> oh, Isidro means stone thief. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> hey, all you limp dick cultists, quit screwing around in this old wet musty hole. I'll rat on all of you. Now, Puck, go! Throw until your iron arm gives out. Make a big appeal to my man Guts for me. <laughs> Drag him down. We'll sacrifice him too. This man up here. <laughs> Raining down stone. <laughs> hey, stupid cheese dicks. Can't get a thing done without swarming. You can all be sacrifices to my ambition. <laughs> Fools. You're taking me on, on start naked? Talk about one big weak spot. <laughs> and your real weak spots exposed too. To top it off, from here, you're completely visible. And I've got tons of ammo. In the years since I ran off from my village, I've wondered aimlessly. Hey, we're getting um, an Isidro flashback right now. <laughs> I've, I've wondered aimlessly without food or water through a kingdom full of roving cushion and bandits. I've been in trouble tons of times. But it was worth it, since now there's this big chance dangling in front of me. No way I'm gonna take it. If I can get through this, I can open the door to ambition. No matter what, I'll win. And if things go well, I might even get my choice for my very first. <laughs> nah. Maybe with all five. <laughs> Somebody sneaked up on him. I cracked him in the face. Okay. What are you doing? Who the hell? Elaine, now we should... What's wrong? Uh, something is happening with her... Uh, with the brand. Okay. What is that? Elaine. Oof. Here comes the, the demons. Hurry! A light is fading. Okay, let's let's pause here. Get to the next part. 
Hurry! Light is fading. Damn it. Aren't we knights? Because we ride horses? <laughs> Mountain climbing in full armor is no job for frail aristocrats. Agreed. You there. If you have time to chatter, move your legs. Marching is an art. Oh. Marching is an army's foundation. Wait a minute. Let me get some water real quick. Let me pause this. I'm also trying to cut down on my sugar intake. Um, so I, I mean, I've all was already drinking water and stuff, but um, one of the things that I find myself doing is like I'm, I'm addicted to sugar, man. And even though I drink a lot of water, I found this water, which is um, I like to tell you guys about stuff that you know what I'm saying not all the time relevant to you know necessarily what we're doing here or whatever but if i can give you guys any health tips or anything like that i will i'm not the most healthiest person in the world or anything like that um but i do try to eat healthy and you know as much as possible that i can but i find myself really addicted to sugary like really sweet things and stuff like that and now for like the past i want to say year or so so i found this water here which is called hint it's water but it's got a slight little taste you know um to give you some of the stats here on it you know zero fat zero sugar is in it um but it's got a hint of you know it's infused with you know, a little taste like strawberry taste, grapes, and stuff like that. You can get them in different flavor. You can look it up. It's um. So it helps me to tone to kind of get off the sugar because you know some people can do cold turkey. I can't do cold turkey. <laughs> so some people can do cold turkey. I I can't do cold turkey. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it, it, it's like I have to slowly take myself off of things. Um, so, uh, so yeah, this is a, this is a blackberry flavor. You can get all sorts of different flavor. If you look up hint on Google, they ship the water out to you. You can find it in, in supermarkets too, but they just, the, the ones that I see in the supermarket and how they sell it in the supermarket, just, it just doesn't work out. It's good to just buy it in bulk. You can get like um three packs for like you know three packs of 12 for for like a dollar a piece you could say for like 30 something dollars well that's in america that is so if they i don't know if they s send it everywhere all over the world worldwide i don't know but you can definitely try to get it if, if this is something if sugar is something that you know you want to get off of but you find it hard to get off of it i think this is a good water to drink because it still has a little bit of flavor to it and it's non-gmo it's, it's it's all of that it's, it's all that good stuff that and, and it's it's recyclable the, the bottle is recyclable um it's also it's vegan um, i'm not a vegan but you know msg soy gluten preservatives all that stuff is um none of that stuff is in it right so it's actually purified water with some uh, and some natural flavor um with and it's not sugary so even if it had one gram of sugar in it you know that can greatly lower your sugar intake and and you know, I don't, I mean, I don't know why it's because I picked up the water right now why I'm talking about it, but I might just cut this piece out and just put it on YouTube on its own. Um, because I like to promote healthy stuff. They're not paying me to do this. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just like to put the information out there. If so, be it, they get a hold of this video and they say, Hey man, we would love if you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is, I will send you water for free hey then so be it you know what i'm saying and and you guys can get a percentage of discount hey i don't mind hey <laughs> you know what i'm saying i know i'm not that big yet on youtube to be getting sponsorships 
Um, I remember back in the day, I want to say probably around five years ago, you could get sponsorships at 5,000 subscribers. You can't do that anymore. You have to have a, a load of, you got to have at least somewhere within 10,000 or more. It, it, it goes, it depends. It depends on, you know, the amount. So it's it's still very good water. Just got a little flavor to it, and it's not it's not sweet. You get what I'm saying? But it it, it will like trick your brain into thinking. It's kind of like a placebo effect, in my opinion, when it comes on to this water. It's like trick your brain into thinking it's getting something sweet when it's really not. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of kind of turn you away from the juice and the these other little things that you know you like to eat that is very sugary and sweet and it has really helped me i'm just saying it really helped me so let's get back to it all right yes back to the task at hand i might just cut this out in the youtube version <laughs> but anyways agreed you there if you have time to chatter move your legs martin is an army's foundation he's lively for his age Agreed. I want to end it here. This gruesome duty. That is it. Right. Units 1 through 4. Follow me. The rest deploy at the cave mouth. Seize those who flee. I think they're coming to get... Um... This is the weird thing about it because, as I said before, convenience is a thing that happens in story in storytelling that I don't I don't necessarily I don't like convenience, and it's great for storytelling, but it's also it can be it can be a double edged sword. You get what I'm saying? It can be a double edged sword. You know, just as much as it can be good, it can be bad. So a lot of times, like I think these guys are heading to 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 where um um the dude the, the cultists are with Casca and Nina and them. I think that's where they're heading. I'm not I'm not sure, but it could be that's who they're trying to restrain right now. So they said all forces move in, restrain them. They could yeah, heretics. Resistance will be met without mercy. Exactly where they are. Yeah, this guy just got his freaking eye with stone, <laughs> stoning them to death. What, what the? Yeah. Yep. The, the things just got a lot worse. Yep. This is where they are, and now, now they're going to be, you know, who is this guy? Yo, they eat people, bro. They, they don't, look at them, bro. Yo, he bit the skin off of his face. What? Ooh. It's going to be a fight for sure. Uh, what, what are they say they are biting metal what is wrong yo are these hold on a second is this because of the influence of what was happening with Ka with Casca it's gotta be because they're eating people's faces bro like they're not playing what's with these people Oof, they're eating people's faces, bruh. Yo. Vice Commander Azan. How to get him off of Farnese? Because Farnese, she can't fight for nothing. Azan, what? I hear the heretics use various drugs in their bizarre rituals. Perhaps among them are some that transform men into beasts. 
such as these. Drugs, of course. Exercise, caution, they seem to possess several times the strength of ordinary men. Drugs? Is it really? This, this feeling, it's like that time. Dora. Dora. Max 160 kilometers per hour. Damn, he be knocking them teeth out. <laughs> that, don't you wave that thing at me. <laughs> Gross. Head split in miracle throw. <laughs> What the hell's going on, though? Things got crazy all of a sudden. Yeah, because of the the aura that Casca brings, man. It, it, well, the aura that follows her. It's not what she brings. It's the aura that follows her. So, earlier, it looked like the smoke swooped down on them like it was alive. Then suddenly, the witch hunters came busting in. This could mean big trouble. No, wait. All that could run interference while I snatch the girls. You damn Jeanette. <laughs> Degenerate. Just stepped on his face. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Am I going to die? <laughs> Jump down, dear. Okay. I thought I would. I thought that was it. <laughs> so, <laughs> who's the? Why do they keep calling him a monkey? I I don't understand that. He looks nothing like a monkey. Why do they keep calling him a monkey? He smashed his head in. Thanks. Ooh. He, he took a. Oh. He took his jacket off. Ah. He took his jacket off and gave her that. Come on, girls, let's run for it. Who are you? I'm Isidro. Details can wait. <laughs> Crap. We can't get to the mouth through that huge mess. What do we do? <clears throat> ah, make haste, please. Quickly. The horns are catching. Leave that thing here. Hmm. The hell is that? Ooh, what what is this? Looks like somebody's about to get stabbed. They're running. Hella, help me. Say what? <laughs> I don't know what stepped out of the Oh damn, what? He gone crazy too, ain't it? Teen. Lady Farnese, it is impossible to capture these people alive. Hmm. Perhaps it would be better to withdraw and wait for them to regain their right minds. Well spoken. Now nah, y'all just wanted to dip. <laughs> A child. Why is a child in the place like? Ooh. They saw them. It's not good. Yo, he came out. I don't know. It seems like he got pierced by something. Yo, this is crazy. And as I said, man, the art style, brilliant. 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 Ooh. You got horned. Yeah, he comes out. I don't know what pierced him, though. I would love to see what pierced it. Something came out of the shadows and pierced him, and he started turning on everything because he was about to dip out. Damn, he's hollering, monster, it's a real monster. Then are these all really, what in, it's the same, the 
same as that night. And you guys, knights, stand your ground and fight, cowards. <laughs> uh, Elena. <laughs> Casca better not get left behind. It's cold. What a time to be in full armor. I could sure use a strong drink. Sounds like it's really rough inside there. They, they just out here waiting. Comes out. What's wrong? Guide, you're so gloomy. You feel guilty for squealing? Someone you know down there? Well, it's just as well. The weak have their own way of living. It's better than always being eaten by the strong. Not that nobles like me should say it. We eat so much. Hey, you catch cold if you fall asleep here. Huh? Did something just pass by? You still half asleep? Ooh. Maybe. <laughs> Guts. Yo. Hey, that's... Yo. Because Guts is coming because remember that um, Puck went to get him. Like, Elaine, b bastards. Oh, no. Not again. Not again. Oh, you about to get beheaded, witch. Mingle with. Become family. This man got the snake. <laughs> Literally got the snake out here. Bruh. What's, uh, what's this light? Hey, look. Somebody stop. This man really pulled out the snake, bro. Not again, man. I'm tired of seeing Casca being abused. Like, this is like... Crazy stuff, man. Oh, damn. So, comes up under the clothes here. And then, what, she snapped? Something in her eye. Wrapped all around her. Put that thing away, you horny goat. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, something. Oh, is that gut sword? No. Something came there. Yeah, it is gut sword right here. That's why I'm like, it looks like his sword from here. It is his sword. I'm about to chop off your snake, bruh. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, Snake is cut off. And he lost an arm, too. Yep. Your man is here, baby. All right, let's go. Guts about to kill everything. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Like, ooh, that shot. That's definitely my thumbnail right there. I'm taking a, I'm taking that picture right now. That's my thumbnail right there. I don't need nothing else. I don't need nothing else. That's my thumbnail right there. Yep, definitely my thumbnail right there. That's a beautiful, beautifully drawn scene. And it looks it looks like it's a double page spread too. Really cool. It's definitely a double page spread. And you can see the split the split in the middle. Guts is like, I'm back, baby. I came to get you. Whoa. It's him, the black swordsman. Look! Why is he here? The Black Swordsman. I'm getting wet. 
for no reason. <laughs> this one just Farnies. We're running for it, Isidro. Watch after those two. Sure, leave it to me. Wait, you? I found a back door. You owe me with interest. We'll talk after we get out of here. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. <laughs> I must have broke the sound barrier. When did he... In any case, he seems to be opposing the heretics. That doesn't exactly mean he's our ally. Did you forget? He's a foe to us. But you saw that sword play, right? It was like a whirlwind, nothing like before. Shall we capture him too, then? There isn't any need. This has already become all-out combat. Kill all who do not submit and surrender. But Lady Farnish, Silence! Standing here will only lead to increased casualties. Have you forgotten? They are heretics. We mustn't quail before those who oppose our god. Everyone advance. Annihilate them! Fight fire with fire, eh? Forget about that. Let's go. Lead the way, Isidro. No! Don't let him escape! Lady Farnese! My, my. Up there. Ooh, who's this? Ooh, he's blocking it. Oh, he came back. He not dead. Lost his snake and an arm, but he not dead. He came back. He's like, won't give witch. Mingle with mine. Guts, get back. Did he slid in to kick this guy in the face or something? Or he just got knocked back? <laughs> Ooh, he jumped. He jumped over the sword swing. Guts. Oh, crap. Yo, this dude is just, he's darting around. He's jumping around. Ooh. Guts. He's like, it's not for Godo's armor. My spine would be smashed. Yeah, because he jumped on him here. It's crazy. It's like, ah. Mm. Turn him into goats too. <laughs> Isidro, go on ahead with them. Yeah, but... Casca's in your hands. Fine. Don't die. I'd lose my payback. <laughs> Wait. Leave her. Ooh. Guts pulling out the blicky. <laughs> okay, okay. Arrows. He's fast. He's darting around. Caught some arrows, though. It's like I keep passing her from one person to the next. Since I see there's a pseudo apostle like you here. What? That guy was saying must not have been just hot here after all. What that guy was saying. He's talking about a skull knight. Kill. Kick to death. Gore to death. But prophecy or whatever. There's no way I'm going to leave her in a hell hole like this. I'm taking her with me. This time, for sure. Ambush. Pseudo-apostle. Let's go. 
battle time. Okay. So Guts fires some more arrows at him. Oh, no, did not. Nah, he pulled out the shotty, the cannon. He pulled out the cannon, but yo, dude is fat. Oh, at this range. Yo, he is fast. Try to get it, catch him again. Dude is fast, bro. Guts can't keep up. Can't hit him because he's just jumping around. Great, he's hopping all over the place. I can't stop him with just one or two hits. Ooh, he got a new... What is this? It's worth a try. What are those? He's still jumping around. He's got to get close. Puts it in. Oh, they're like... I want to say mini cannonballs? I don't know. One, two, so he like ignites it. It's like a grenade. Okay, three, threw it right at his forehead. Here comes the blast. Boom, to the face. Damn. Guts is holding him back with the sword, bruh. The head meets the sword there. Blasted him. Ooh. And he's got to he's gotta use the sword as a shield, too. Yo, eyeballs popping out. Wow. Look at this scene his eyeball is popping out oof mm. beheaded took the head off oof bruh beautifully done explosives eh this will come in handy a bit like my cannon oh man Whoops, no time to waste. <laughs> Yo. And then he he turned back to normal. like a, Yeah, because they usually do turn back to their normal self. And these guys are still out here fighting these monsters. It's like, Lady Farnese. It is dangerous for a leader to expose herself to a melee like this please fall back to the cave mouth for now but but escort her come lady fornies begging your pardon this way azan leave this to us release me accompany me harold serpico where are you this one hell of a back door I hope they didn't fall. Who is this? Nigga. I have been waiting for you, Black Swordsman. <laughs> Yo, Guts is like, I do not have time. To talk to anyone right now, okay? Now, just a uh, handy. Ooh, whose sword is that? He saw it too. Saw the glint. This is crazy. How did he get down there? 
Can this dude fly or something? Or did he? How cruel. What was that sound? Can talk now. Big balls make for big falls. It's draw. <laughs> Cut me some slack. They call me a monkey, you know. Wow, the path. Was that old fart going to jump his way to deliverance or something? What now, monkey? Look at this. Well, well, so long as this is here, I can't, I've barely made it this far. I, I can't do it. So I found some sort of rope. It's all right. You hang tight while I lower you down from above. Just, you know what, but, or else, you bungee. <laughs> What's bungee? <laughs> it's like, uh, the problem is this girl. Okay, Guts is out here fighting. Having a tough time with this dude. Oh, Guts is about to pull the sword. Oh, he's quick. What? It's like stopping him from drawing his sword. Smart. This guy. I believe in preventing you from drawing. I don't think Guts needs his sword to beat you, but... In any case, I think it would be impractical for you to wield that sword here if you did draw it. So... So, that's why you waited here? Position, physique, technique, equipment... All of them work against you in this place. Furthermore, confronting you with sheer numbers is the height of folly. Guts is about to fall. Why are we fighting on the side of a cliff? I don't know. <laughs> Once you cut down ten men with that sword, the tide of the battle turns. Allies infected with fear are worse than enemies. This guy's a skilled fighter. You're a bit too distressing to mistress for to to distressing to mistress Farnese. You will disappear. Oh, so you are a simp. Okay. <laughs> You're a simp. <laughs> there. I'm begging you. Don't don't struggle. He's doing them both at the same time. Why is he doing them both at the same time? Why not lower one after the other? Go ahead. Oh, I thought it was both of them at the same time. I did Nina first. She dropped down. And then she's lowering Casca now. Okay. So, that's the end of that. And more eyes are watching. The Cliff. The western sun in your eyes. Precarious footing. Your large physique and heavy equipment. Your good hand against the rock wall. All these limit you. This guy is something. He won't even give me a chance to draw. It ain't just strategy. He's an incredible swordsman. He keeps changing can't read him. This is a lot harder than that pseudo-apostle was. But I don't have time to screw around. Are you concerned about those girls? I believe my comrades have spread a net up ahead. They should be in custody right about now. That was such a lie, but I have to provoke you further. <laughs> oh my god, he's thinking that. He's like, I have a feeling I will not win if I fight fearly. Ooh. Something is happening. Oh, she slapped them in the face. It's like, with this many troops, you couldn't seize one black swordsman? You even let him into the cave? For shame. I am most sorry. Somehow we were caught on a weirs. I have no ear for excuses. Hasn't word of suppression come from Vice Commander Azan yet? Nay. 
The interior of the cave is still in a state of chaos. Order three more units in. Yes, but the vice commander said that reinforcements would only further complicate the situation. I care not. This is your commander's orders. She's really out of hand. Where does Shadow go? Yeah, dude is over here trying to fight guts, okay? What's up? Uh, well, just now. So you're just following a bouncing stone? Oh, the eyes. Keep going a little further. Who's there? Is this Nina? Oh, crap. Hey, Joe. What? She's been seen? Wait a second, this whole time this was Joachim? How the hell did he survive? He was thrown off the freaking cliff. How did he survive? He's like, you're alive? I didn't even recognize that it was him. Ah, heretic. There's a heretic around this rock. What? Joachim? Hey, girl, run. If you just stand there, you'll get caught. What? what? Yo, did she just slip out of her dress like, <laughs> like slip? She just slipped out of the ropes. What are you doing, Casca? I'm falling like a superhero. <laughs> Bad news, Isidro. Oh, you gotta lower himself. <laughs> this is Joe out here reporting suppression of the heretics in the cave is nearly complete in 37 minutes it's nearly complete what of the black swordsman aye it's not been confirmed but I did not see him among the captives go on walk that girl the black swordsman plunged in to save her <laughs> look at this Joe man what what Caught the sword with his hand. A blade? Beer handed? Don't be absurd. What reflexes? Absurd? Not at all. Are you certain if I draw back the sword now? But you can't do it, can you? <laughs> with a bit of brawn and reflexes, it's not necessarily absurd. Snapped it. Well, he didn't snap it. He just broke it with his other arm. With his metal arm. And now... Yo! Dude is quick, man. He, du he dipped under it. Okay. He's dipping under... What? What is with this guy? He just be just hanging off the cliff. And just... What? Oh, we got one of the grenades, too. Did he take one off of him? He dipped. <laughs> I never thought he could dodge it. And he was clever enough to pick my pocket and use a weapon he'd only seen once. Bastard's cunning like a fox. <laughs> I should refrain from getting in over my head. <laughs> I really am becoming more serious than is ordinarily um, than is ordinarily my style. Sorry. It's not really his fault though. Not really Issy Joe's fault. It, 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 you know what I'm saying? Because he, he was trying to help. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't know that they were there. So, uh, now what? So close, yet so far. Captives. Okay. 
So you know Guts is going straight to the castle. Listen good. If we don't return by morning, get away from Albion. When I get back, that's when. The authorities will catch you if you are slowpokes. Luca. So this is Luca telling the girls um, if they don't return by morning. Okay, so you should go back. I can't guarantee your life. And you be in my way. Is that so? Yeah, yeah. This ain't woman's work, Luca. Same goes for you. I'm going because I want to lay off. I still ain't giving up on you owing me a giant favor. I'll make up for that blunder. We got a late start earlier, but that won't happen this time. It's not like you alone worry about those girls, right? Besides, I've got a bit of pull in the monastery. With any luck, we might be able to rescue them without any bloodshed. Just good luck with that. Um, do what you want. Will this work? I have no idea. <laughs> I think we can only give up the inside of that tower. I think we can only give up. The inside of that tower is crazy. Then why didn't you say so? This is because Luca is so stubborn, so honest, is stupid. If Luca and them don't come back, what should we do? I don't know, stupid. Please let them all come back safely. Okay. So Luca, Isidro, and Guts is heading to the monastery to go get Casca and Nina back. So, unfortunately, there's no way for man to change the course of this festival. Whoever these people are. Who are these people? We already subsist within the current of causality. Who the hell knows what causality is? <laughs> Do still don't know what the hell causality is. Okay. What to do? I lost sight of him. So many people obscuring their presence. Obscuring their presence. Hmm. Whoopsie. What is it? Something there? A bat, right? So they can see me even in such a huge temple? Still, though, what's this stifling feeling? A den of those apostle monsters? And that's not all. There are plenty more muddled things. I've got a bad feeling. I'd better find them fast. Lock them up. Save me, Luca. Save me. Nina. And even in her currency, she's still, like, so caring. You know, aren't you a witch, Elaine? Can't you use your magic to get us out of here? Come on. Listen, if we don't sneak out quick, terrible things will happen. You'll be burned at the stake. Oh. Enough already. Are you getting frustrated with her? He pushed her down. That's not cool. Whatever. I don't care anymore. It's your fault nothing good's happened to me since I met you. Just bad. Aren't I the one who looked after you? So why? Why am I the only one? <sighs> Sorry, that was a lie. I'm sorry, Elaine. Forgive me. I don't. Nina is confused out of her mind. She, I don't know. <laughs> She's just confused. Oh. What is this? One of you. Come on. It doesn't matter which. Just move it. Yeah. Come here, you. Elaine. I have to tell them to wait, not to take Elaine, but then I'll be... Oh, no. Not you. You come with us. Your friend's been taken away, and you don't say a thing? I can't stand lowlifes who only think of themselves. <laughs> no. Wait. You're wrong. I... Get out of here. Get out here. <laughs> Elaine, ah, uh, why? 
Is it my fault? Am I in the wrong? But I couldn't say it. I was scared. I wanted to abandon Elaine, who knows nothing, and save myself. With this body, am I dying soon anyway? No, for that, all the more, I'm disgusting. This is divine punishment. Your friends confess that the revered head of your cult is a woman. We've already looked into the other woman. You're the only two left. One of you is a witch. It means Elaine. <laughs> if I tell them everything right away, I might survive without anything terrible happening. If I tell them, in the end, everyone thinks only of themselves. If I lose even my nerve, I'll end up just like those I look down upon. Luca. Courage. Just a little bit will do. Just a grain of your courage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're going to need a lot of that. That's for sure. No, come on, walk. Ah, the torture, man, that's going on down here. Look at what they're doing to people, bro. Like, what is this? Seriously. Look at what they do to people down here, man. What is this? These are whips. I think that's whip. I think this is. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know, man. That's crazy. They're they're facing a wall with spikes on it, and then they're getting like, ugh, oof, titties being hung up by the breast. I mean, come on, man. They're weighted to look at this. It's like weights. You know, that's crazy. They're hung up and weights. Impossible. Yeah, it's not possible for me, Luca. All right, let's pause here. All right. Orders to return to the Holy See. But why so suddenly, Abbot? It is a direct notice from the Holy See. I believe it is safe to say that the heretics are subjugated for now. I too am honestly quite relieved. You have performed well in this lengthy duty. Remnants might still be lurking. The public mind is unsettling. Interrogation and execution of sentences will still require some time. What of the Inquisitor's protection during that period? Ah, do not be anxious about that point. This order to return was not addressed to the Holy Iron Chain Knights, but to you individually, Miss Farnese. That can't be. Are you saying that as commander I must abandon my own forces? I will not assent. I cannot comply. There should be no problem in trusting the remainder of practical duties to Vice Commander Azan. Miss Farnese, I have heard this papal edict comes through the influence of the Van Meon family of your father. Hmm, you must understand. Though this be a sacred duty, you must understand. The feelings of your father in not wanting to see you, a woman detained in this gruesome place. I am... The majority of provisions of aid for these refugees are contributions from the Vandemian fa family. Please, understand. Please. Lady Farnese. Please wait, Lady Farnese. I'll do this talking to Farnese, because Farnese, the daughter called her back home. It's like, you touching me? She slapped him in the face. Like, ouch. You snitched on me to father. Ugh. Oh, I know. You're reporting my action in detail to the family. 
I'll bet you declared that I gleefully round up heretics to burn at the state, right? He's like, never. He's like, father's orders. I'm certainly so disposed to worrying. You can't disobey the family head either. Indeed. But don't you forget, I am your master. You have sworn your sword to me. I alone am your master. He's like, yes, ma'am. Do you hate me? It's like, to talk of hate, fine, forget it. Keep walking. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Nina's <laughs> crying. I'm sorry, I've never seen anyone as miserable as you. You disclosed everything before we could even rip off one fingernail. <laughs> oh my God. She's out here snitching. <laughs> this is your last night. Bought with the blood of your friend. Savor it. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Don't apologize. It's depressing. I'm sorry. Splendid. Oh my God, this guy. Splendid work, Miss Farnese. I am grateful. Even with all these facilities in use, we do not catch up. Perhaps now it is no exaggeration to say that nearly all the heretics haunting the Albion have been caught, naturally due to the glorious commander of the Holy Iron Chain Knights. Your achievements of three years ago as well certainly were not mere fatuity. No, they were providence. Regarding casualties suffered during this task, I will do all in my power to give accommodation to you at the Holy See. Again, you bring me great joy. Father Musgus. Yes. No, it is nothing. Oh, Miss Farnese, according to your report, while raiding the heretic's hideaway, you were met by a number of monsters. Aye? The heretics inside the cave were replete with some kind of suspicious drug or ceremonial incense. Perhaps the monsters were a mass hallucination caused by it. Those things can't exist. Also, within your report, you mentioned that the black swordsman who you once pursued appeared there. Yes, father. Hmm, but why? Perhaps he bears some enmity against the Holy Iron Chain Knights. Ah, stop it. Hmm. Really, Casca? <laughs> this girl. Is there something about her? Yes, Father. When the black swordsman appeared, it seemed to me he was trying to rescue her. I have a report. Body comes in. According to the confessions of the heretics, that girl seems to be their sorceress. Or perhaps some icon their fate worships of that sort. Mistress Witch, please save me. <laughs> As you can hear, they all plead for her to save them. Theoretic sorceress, connected with the black swordsman? Hmm. Do you think Mus Mus Musgus, Musgus, do you think he's an apostle? Hmm, so he rips her clothes off. Surely, the mark of the witch. Oh, putting her in a torture chamber? It would seem there is need to investigate this girl in special detail. Oh my god. Ah. If the screams are getting louder, the torture chamber must be this way. Maybe Casca's there too. I've got to hurry. That's it. Oh, damn. What is going to happen? Oh. Oh, damn. Mistress Witch. Be 
Yo, this is crazy, man. Yo, they busted her out of there. They busted her out of there, bro. They're like, what you doing? Yo. I know y'all are out of here. It's like, hmm. Oh, Musgos. He is smiling? I don't know. Never know when this dude is smiling or not. I don't even know if this is a real face. <laughs> what is this? This is crazy, man. The Iron Maiden. Okay, I think this is the final chapter. Yo, it's huge. When you see it up close, it's more like a citadel than a temple. Shh. Keep your voice down. What is it? What's this presence? The back of my neck's oozing. An apostle? No. Stranger, this place is bad news. Oh, what's that? It's a trash chute. Throwing stones at the window. Oh, he, she. Oh, yeah, cause she says she has connections in the in the in the uh, monastery, right? So they throw down a a rope ladder. Like, what's going on? Neither of you show your faces. I know you're in a hurry. But if you cause a scene now, you won't be able to save anyone. Elaine, Casca, that, that is, leave her to me. Yeah, haven't seen you lately. I bought some friends. Could I ask you to go get someone for me? Jerome of the Holy, Ch uh, Holy Iron Chain Knights. Oh, for so much? Hmm. Yo, guts is out. <laughs> like, did something just pass by? <laughs> it's just your imagination. Oh well. This anxiety is getting stronger. Casca. Yo. What? Well, what in? Yeah, they're here. Are those stay back, please? This is nuts <laughs> because I mean, are they protecting her? Can she control it? It's like blood? That's crazy. They're all over the place. Monsters, what are they? Taking over. They envelop them. Is it? Look at that. Did these things devour people? Wait. Don't leave me. Quickly, Lady Farnese. Wait. Father Mosgus. Father Muscus, it is dangerous here. Like, eh, impudent witch. The main entrance is no use. Let us escape to the chapel. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Lucas. <laughs> oh, my God. N -n no. What is that? What in the world is happening? Vice Commander. Anyway, to higher ground. I will explain afterwards. Oh. Did somebody just... Is this Guts? Who the hell just hit her? It's like you. Why are you here? Where's my companion? Companion? You mean that witch... So you are following her. Answer! The, the underground torture chamber. <laughs> torture chamber? 
it's pointless to go now. Like, what? It's it's the basement. Over overflowing with that. Would you just say it? It's like I, I, I don't know. It shouldn't exist. Those things can't exist. There must be another way to the torture chamber, right? Show me. No. Who'd want to go near that again? Uh, Guts is mad. He's like, tell me. Sorry, but move your ass. I'm about to break. Oh, my God. <sighs> I really am a no good person. I couldn't bear the nail on one finger. One more night, then. Even at a time like this, I'm only worried about myself. Thanks to me right now, Elaine is. Yet still, it hurts. I don't want to die. Get out. Get out. Hurry, it's already coming. Up. Escape upwards. The prisoners, just leave them. What? Excuse me. Has something happened? Yeah. Monsters. The monsters are coming. What? Underground from the torture chamber? Please open up. Jailer! No. It keeps getting louder. It keeps it coming closer. Somebody! Somebody! Eek! She falls through. Somebody open the door. Who opened the door? Found you. No, girly. You're alive. Luca! Luca. Sorry for the wait. Save the mushy stuff for later. Something's really weird here. The entire tower is like a beehive. Someone smacked. It seems something happened down in the torture chamber, but I don't know the details. Well, thanks to that, we were able to get this far. Hey, what are you doing? Open up. Let me out. A plan? Diversionary tactics. Run! We'll use them as decoys while we escape. You know, I might not look the part, but I am a heretic hunter. <laughs> Say what? You're an accomplice now, man. If you turn on us, I'll tell them all sorts of stuff about you. <laughs> Damn kid. <laughs> I'm sorry to wrap you up in this, Jerome. Go nuts. <laughs> Looks like I've really lost my edge. But oh well. It's a rotten duty anyway. Now my mind's made up. Maybe going wrong for the sake of sake of a woman is more in character for a libertine like me so i remember in the last volume this guy i didn't know it was going to be him that's going to be the connection inside the castle um jerome i really did get him wrong all right that said it's goodbye to albion wait a minute nina i'm sorry but there's one more she's my money writer <laughs> where's cos e e elaine Elaine's in the torture chamber, but right now, the basement, I don't. She's probably in the basement. Let's go now while it's clear. This way. What the? Yeah. <laughs> Yo. They even know this stuff exists. The place is empty, but the whole room was flooding. This smell is putrid. It smells like blood. Yeah, and look at this. All of these people that are was in here, they're all dead now. They're not being tortured anymore. Because those things sucked. Their, they devour them, their essence. It did this. Casca. Hey. Get <laughs> where Puck is hiding. What are you doing? Down in heavy armor to mow down the enemy. <laughs> I snuck in here so I could rescue Casca, but then they showed up and died the whole room. What about her? What about Casca? Casca Ka was swallowed up by them. What? What? Ah, but something's weird. The other humans were instantly dissolved, but Casca wasn't. And though she was swallowed, her presence never vanished. She's safe, probably. Uh, definitely. What is this guy doing mumbling to himself? Oh, 
out, oh yeah, she can't see Puck. So it's like, then where did she go? Hmm. It's like they came out of everywhere, but there was one big spirit, so I think she's in that. What? What is that? This way. So she finally, um, no, wait, I remember that. Where did I, yeah, because she, I remember, I, um, it's either she couldn't see him or she could see him, but didn't recognize, I, I don't remember, like she couldn't, um, yeah, so that's right. It was then, hey. You can do what you want, just don't get in my way, or I'll kill you. Wait. Wait. Wait for me. And knocking. They guarding. <laughs> Musgus. Musgus. Please step back. The door will not hold. We have nothing to fear. Now is the time for our fate to be tested. Our mouths shall not call out for God to save us. Fate demands our all. I devote myself gladly to this trial. Repent, thou dead. Oh, okay. It is through death that we esp esp fate, espy fate, whatever that is. This man thinks. Okay. I think that's the end, yeah. All right, guys. I have a lot to talk about. <laughs> this was crazy. But in any case, hope you guys enjoyed the read-through, man. Make sure you go back to YouTube to see the review. I want you guys to go and watch my reviews on YouTube. If you watch it on the Google Drive, please go back and watch my reviews on YouTube so that we can keep up the watch time over there. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys over there for that. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to watching my review of Berserk read through. Oh my god. Yes, a lot happened. I, I, I'll tell you this that a lot happened in that volume. A lot happened. We got Casca almost being reunited with guts and as i've stated multiple times during the read through convenience for plot is a thing that i don't like in in storytelling i'm not saying as i said it is a double-edged sword because it can be good and it can be bad okay but nevertheless i'm enjoying the story so i don't want you guys to think that now I'm going to hate on Berserk because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I don't like convenient when convenient stuff is just placed in for plot as in why, you know what I'm saying, like you, you want certain things to happen and that's why you look forward to certain things. It's like, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of like a, a movie, you're watching a movie and it's just stringing you along and you're like, but he was right there, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like it creates this anxiety, not necessarily suspense, but it creates an anxiety. And I just do not like feeling that way. So, but it's done on purpose. You know, it's done on purpose, so you just have to live with it. But in any case, this was done beautifully. I like the fact that, you know, Guts is reaching out, whether you want to say it's m metaphorically he's reaching out to Casca, but he just can't seem to get back to her because he kind of like even when he was stating to himself he was saying that you know i was a different person but this time this time you know i'll be different i didn't like the fact that he just up and left her you know i didn't like it you know, I didn't like the fact that he just up and, and, and just left. He should not have left. The state that she was in with him being, you know, so close to Casca and, you know, them being in a relationship, everything else could have waited. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. But 
he's a different person now as he's saying so we'll give him the benefit of the doubt for now but Casca seems to be I don't know the people that has the brand man I think there's just something about these people with the brand and I mean so far we know that Guts and Casca has the brand and it just not only is it a blessing and a curse you know what I'm saying it's just something that's just going to be ambling around them for basically the rest of their lives if they can't get rid of this this brand um it does exert a certain amount of power for them too so there's that also and also when you when you actually look at what's really going on you know behind the scenes you know you can pick and choose certain spots and you know lure points and stuff like that that's you know leading you to 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 to, to um foreshadowing and stuff like that of things what that might happen in the future um of this series so for me farnies i think she has a little crush on guts i'm i'm not a hundred percent on that but i feel like she has some sort of weird connection with guts that you know what i'm saying because of some of the stuff that guts told her before when you know what i'm saying and the way how she acted towards him i don't even know why she, what happened to her uh, and why she felt that way uh, and why she was she you know i i don't know okay it, it was just a weird situation <laughs> let's just call it that but you know them trying to close her into a, a thing with spikes and whatever um you know it's not the first time we've seen something like that not in this manga but you know in general we've seen this depicted in 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 many other um f fictional um things that we watch and maybe it is something that was created in real life i'm not a hundred percent sure that thing with the you know where they lock you in with all these spikes and stuff like that um I don't know if it's something that was ever created in real life, but we've I've seen that in so many different depictions. Maybe it is something that was created in real life. I don't know. Um, but the monsters just bust her out of there. And now they're taking over the freaking um, monastery uh, with Muscus, you know, at the end there talking about... Um, oh we don't fear nothing if this is how we die this is how we die hey man i i applaud you <laughs> i applaud you muskus i really do applaud you um you know there were certain points when I, when i was watching this i couldn't stop smiling because it's just the way how the story is playing out it's beautiful storytelling so it's like for me it's it's eye candy it's it's just I just eat it all up you know what I'm saying I just eat it all up because I love when authors go the extra mile panel by panel to tell you what's happening and nothing is being really left out you don't feel like when you turn a page like you just skip to something without you know what I'm saying without knowing or feeling like something was left out and if you're doing that especially in comics or you know manga you know you leave the viewer you leave the person who is reading like I've read comics that are like that and I I hated it as a child and I hate it now I do not like when authors do that because it leaves you in limbo it leaves you in limbo to okay I, could we can we finish the conversation please <laughs> you know what i'm saying and sometimes it just goes down as just you, you you just call it bad writing because that's what it is you know so i love how this guy just details the conversations everything to help you to understand what's going on in the verse of 
berserk so i'm loving it man i'm loving it so when it comes on to what's happening i love the rescue scene in the cage with with isidro and you know him sending puck to go get guts and stuff like that which i think he should have done earlier because that way at least if you're sneaking behind them you know what i'm saying the time that it took for puck to go get guts from the cave would have been shortened because that way guts would have probably gotten there sooner and probably wouldn't have even encountered the high and holy chain knights or whatever they want to call themselves so we could have cut out a lot of that time as i said a lot of things were done for convenience but it was well done in terms of how it went on it was done well for plot convenience it was done well it didn't throw me off but i noticed it you know what i'm saying i noticed it and it at this point it was a good way of doing it you get what i'm saying because it's like he knows that everybody wants guts to reunite with costa and, and he, we did have a brief a brief reunion between the two of them they didn't get to talk to each other because she doesn't talk anymore anyways right so we got to see that we got to see how you know how guts is going to interact with her um but not that much it was very slight it was basically i'm here to rescue you but i can't even go with you right now because i gotta stay back and fight this pseudo apostle right now which was not really a great challenge but he was kind of moving too fast for guts to really pin him down but i didn't know guts had grenades on him you know what i'm saying so it's pretty cool pretty cool to see so that scene was was very cool i'm really really um liking luca as a character she's one of those characters that i think probably will be around for a little bit um i like her character because she's very she's genuine and she keeps it real you know what i'm saying and she she comes through she's a clutch character she comes through when her services are needed she's always you know what i'm saying i'm on that so she got them into the castle um now the, the challenge is to find casca because i think she's attacking along she's being enveloped by the the the, the demons or whatever um by the presence or you know they're devouring souls but they're not devouring casca for some reason and i think she's she's there with them attacking so i think once they dissipate or whatever i think Casca is just gonna fall on the ground or something like that because um from what puck says she's more than likely still alive and i think she's in the room with them because wherever they attack that's where she's going to be because she's kind of traveling in this this goo of demons if you want to call it that so yeah great stuff for this volume man um i'm trying to do two of these um two of these read-throughs per month um that's what i'm trying to do but if it spills over into the next month then that's just how it is but i'm trying to do like one at the beginning of the month and then one at the end of the month not necessarily like the first and the third week so two times per month two read-throughs per month is what i'm aiming for both for this and ippo so we'll see how that goes but in any case guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always hopefully you guys um enjoyed my review of volume 19 of berserk it was crazy we got to see a lot more action than we usually get in berserk um but when you do it's just it's it's good it's good it's good so i like it and i'll see you guys for the next one don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to comment i'm looking forward to volume 20 of berserk because things are getting wild things are getting wild and we're not even talking about griffith or any you know what i'm saying of the god hand these are just some basic apostles out here and things are getting wild i was actually wondering if musgaz is an apostle I mean, these guys disguise as the worst of that humanity can offer. So it's it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not far-fetched to think that he was. You know what I'm saying? 
So I started to think that for a little bit because of how he was acting. Because I thought he was smiling when he realized that Casca is really a witch. You know what I'm saying? Because um, she's not a witch. We know that she's not a witch. We know what happened. They think she's a witch because, you know, you always have these demons trying to protect her and stuff like that. So we'll see how things goes. Anyways, guys, as I said, thank you guys so much. Leave a comment, and of course, I will see you guys on the next one.